Hey everyone, welcome back to the Field House at Twin Cities Orthopedics Performance Center. Offensive coordinator John DiFilippo joins us right now. We're going to talk a little Vikings offense. It's hard to believe, but the offseason program is over. I tell you, it flies by every year. It yeah. seems like it goes by faster every year. And uh, you know, when you when you think about it, you really only, you only get 13 practices, and uh, so it, you're. You got to be really, really detailed on what you want to get in, and, and you know when you're installing a somewhat new system, you know you try to cram everything in, and then you see what sticks. And um, I think our guys did a really nice job of picking up some of the new concepts we put in. Now you'll take a step back, and you'll go wherever you go during the summer, and I know you'll still think about what's going on here. So where are we at uh, in the installation process, and what are you looking forward to in camp? Well, the, oh, the offense is in. Everything's been introduced to to the players and to the coaches, and. And a lot of it's you know staying the same. The verbiage is staying the same. You know, I took the liberty of, of learning a lot of the verbiage that was used here last year in terms of you know formations and, and those things. So uh, we've tried to make it as simple a learning process for the players and coaches as possible. So there's always going to be some changes whenever somebody else is teaching um, the offense, but. We're trying to keep, every, keep as much the yeah. same as we can. What's been going really well? What are you very pleased about with the offense? I'll tell you what, I'm very, very pleased with the way we're running the football. And I told you know, our coaching staff this, and I told our team this the other day, I've, I've been, on, been on some good teams, been fortunate enough to be on some good teams and some not so good teams. And you know, this is by far the best we run the football you know, in, in shorts than any team I've been on. So we need that to carry over you know, in, in the training camp. And then obviously just the quarterbacks you know, progressing each day as you see them get better and their eyes get faster and their feet get faster and those things. And they, that tells you they know what, what's going on and, and uh, where, where the ball needs to go. I know that you have been a part of offenses that have done well in the red zone. Mm -hmm. Teams that do that, it seems like they're able to run the ball down there. Is that right? That's the number one trait. Yeah. That is the number one trait. And, and, you know, we have the backs to be able to have a successful running game down there because our, our guys are elusive. You know, we have an elusive runner, obviously in Dalvin Cook, and then we have, you know, Latavius is a is, is a bigger, you know, runner that's going to run through some some arm tackles down there. So, those are the things you need. You got to beat that extra unblocked player down there running the football. That's right. What's the exchange been like with Zim and his defensive staff? Because I mean, you competed against them at the highest level in the yeah. NFC Championship game, and now you're working with them. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's been it's been really really neat to be around. You know, Coach Zim and, and the defensive staff. They do a great job. They have a lot of really good players over there. You know, especially everywhere. Secondary. I mean, linebacker, D line, everywhere. So, oh, it, it's been great for us, though. I mean, I look at it as a positive. The fact that we get to go up against the number one defense in the league every every. Uh, every day. I think um, you know covering is really hard in this league mm -hmm. and, and the Vikings defense has some guys who can cover. Yes, I, I was telling uh, Coach Zim this the other day and Rick, when you watch our guys warm up in stretch lines, our, D, our DB group, I mean they are all tall, long, long arms, fast. Uh, I mean that's, a, that's as good a looking group of DBs as you're going to see. Yeah. Kirk Cousins, you know, you don't get that contract and you don't get to as many great stats as he has without being good at everything. So I know that he's a complete quarterback. Yeah. But what's he, you know, what's he really good at? What's his forte? You know, decision making. I think decision making is he, he's shown to make, make great decisions with the football. Um, he gets the ball out quick. Uh, he has fantastic football acumen. Uh, he's solid in protections, and he can drive the football. I mean, he can, he can drive the football. So. All those things equate to you know good quarterback play, and that's why he's he's played really well in the past. Offensive line, I get asked all the time, how's the yeah. old line looking? Tony Sperano does a fantastic job yeah. with those guys. I mean, he, he is he's he's as good as there is, and so he, he's got those guys playing playing really really well. I tell you, we've had some guys step up. Obviously, you know, uh, we've, we had an injury obviously to Pat, and, and we've had guys step up at, at spots you know all on the offensive line and. You know, we've tried out some new things this spring and some different combinations and, and uh, you know, we're anticipating Pat coming back and full and ready to go and uh, we're anticipating that and ready for it. You know, I, I know the coaches who come back from last year, they know what, what we have in Pat Elfline. Mm -hmm. So the silver lining when a guy is out like that who you know what you got in him is you get a look at other guys, right? And Nick's done a fantastic job. It's been great getting Nick in there at center. I mean, he's done a great job and, you know, playing center against the first group against our defense is, is not an easy task because they're, they're moving around a lot, they're bringing a lot of different looks. So it's been great for Nick and for, and for Kirk to work together to be on the same page in terms of the, uh, the protections and the mic points. All right, man, thanks for all your work. Absolutely, thank you, yep. appreciate it.